Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. Jay Uso and Jimmy. One of the great Uso. tag teams of all time. Jimmy and Jay have been on a run recently Uso. that has redefined the tag team division in WWE. No question about it, Jimmy and Jay Uso have single-handedly transformed the tag team division. You know, and if you ask them what made the difference, what made you guys step up your game, Jimmy and Jay will tell you it was the moment we decided to stop being what other people expected us to be and to start being who we are. turn up and have a good time. Uh, I believe the term is turt, Corey. That's what I said, Saxton. Gotta put more oomph into it. More swag. Byron, you know nothing about swag. You're embarrassing yourself, and somehow you might be the only man on earth to make the Street Profits less cool. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough, and they know how to have a good time. It doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Two out of three falls match to sell the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. 
Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sidewalk. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. The team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Comes in off the tag. What a stop! Good grief! Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys, or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. Tag team action like in singles competition. Once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is. You gotta believe this one's over, but he's gotta capitalize now. Nobody's surprised. Not yet. Whoa, Jimmy Uso dodged that one. Angelo Dawkins just too quick. What a super great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Tag is made. Parker going up top. Uh oh! Double impact. Can he finish the job? Ansel Dawkins. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Oh, he's trapped. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of it. Tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Giving that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. ago you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful the continuity between tag team partners is crucial when a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part and that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match when you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. And oh boy, he is rolling. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya 
and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's court, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's court. Treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, nasty impact. Angela, harsh impact. But I don't know how much gas he has going for the cover. One, two. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. That's all right, Cole. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner walk up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, he's making a statement here with this attack. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron the partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. And here's another look at what made that match so special. He's getting it done here. He ain't playing here. Who could forget this? And finally... choice here but to end this one be a count out hey rules are rules you got to pay attention to the 10 count or you're gonna lose it's that simple and it's matches like this one that makes smackdown